You know what it's like to get to the end of a bottle of lotion that you really love, but you're still trying to get the rest of it out. You don't. Maybe you do. Well, today, let's discuss how to clean a lotion bottle after you've emptied it out, it's particularly flip top lotions. These can be a bit challenging, a bit tough, only if you think that way. So a man think if so is he. To clean, <laughs> come with me to the lab. So the thing to note here, when you get to the point where you're emptied out a bottle and you have a flip cap design, most common recognizable is Bath and Body Works and a few other similar type of packaging because there's lots of dupes out there, especially now. So what is a flip top cap? You simply push it down and it's designed in a way where you squeeze this out. Here, take a look right here at the mechanisms of what allows you to squeeze out evenly or unevenly to squeeze out a grop or quarter size amount. I went there <laughs> of lotion. And then on the inside, that's the hole through which it's dispensed and it comes through there and it dispenses out there. Flip top. I have finally used up the rest of this. If you want to know how to get the lotion out of the bottle without cutting the bottle, here, this video should help you. I'll link that at the end of this one. I have poured oil in here. I have tried hooping my hand not nearly 21 times, like I'm going 21 rounds with Mike Tyson. And it, it, you, you, we still got residue. So we're, when we're at this point where we can, we can do no more, what do you do so, so you can just effectively get it out once you're done, done? Like, I don't feel like whooping my hand 21 times, no more times. Bars. Is it? Okay. So what you want to want to do is fill this up. And so I have filled it up with a certain level of water. You can do more, but you don't want to fill it up all the way to the top just because you're going to use, and I suggest something skin safe, something dermatologist safe. The only reason why you're not seeing me right now, my whole face, is because you just need to see this. I'm going to use Feminine Hygiene Wash. This is considered the safest, most dermatologist tested for your lady parts. So this is the best thing to clean it with, not a harsh soap. I'm going to give that a good two squeezes because we still got a good amount in here. And now I'm going to take that flip cap and put it right back on. So essentially, when you're combining a mixture of a very sensitive type dermatologist type of soap combined with a little bit of water in here. It is the assumption that you're making that when you're cleaning it this way, that you're going to possibly reuse it, recycle it for something that is not for internal consumption that will still be skin safe. Because if you clean it with a harsh soap like bleach or Dawn, and you plan to reuse it and fill it with another lotion or a similar lotion, then your your pot you could possibly open yourself up to allergic reactions, and you don't want that. And if you're a sensitive skin person, if you know you know which team I'm on, then you don't want that. And so now we're just shaking it up, a little bit of you know half and half mixture, probably 70-20 between the water and the feminine hygiene soap. And I'd rather use feminine hygiene soap about two good squirts like you saw and do it that way. And then you shake it until there, there's no more of that lotion alongside the walls in which you could see. And it's all down here encompassed, covered by the soap. So now, rinsing time. And you want to thoroughly rinse it. You want to rinse and pour. So that's empty. Now I gotta show y'all what I'm doing with this. You wanna keep this open, but you wanna let this run out where it comes out the spout. And just hold it like that. Move it if you need to, if you see other particles, other residue of the lotion and soap left over. And you just let it continue to come out that spout. That's forcing the water and forcing the lotion debris and forcing the soap debris out. Thoroughly cleansing them. Nice technique, ain't it?
you store these upside down in a shower caddy or in a place where you have a towel, fresh clean towel set down. I'm just gonna set it here on the counter to kind of demonstrate that. And you allow at least one to two days for it to dry out. And now you have this to use for something else or you're just ready to recycle it. All the lotion is gone. And don't worry if you've done this technique and then after two to three days, storing it upside down, what that does is allow it to drain out all the leftover excess water from you rinsing from both. I'm gonna store the cap face down with the flip clap open. If you still smell the scent of the lotion, don't worry. If you thoroughly rinse, you should still have some type of hint of it. It just won't be anything like if the, all the lotion residue was there. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I go over the basics of how to clean bottles of hygiene or anything hygiene related or hygiene methods or techniques, just make sure to give credit. Yeah, um, on either side, there's gonna be a playlist for you all to enjoy. Until next time. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest, bravest things, things that you can do. It is patient, it is kind, it does not envy or boast, and it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking, nor is it easily angered or seething mad and it keeps no records of wrongs it has no pleasure in evil but it rejoices in the truth and most of all 